Hello everybody, this is Kiran from iLikeMyPhone.com and I'm going to quickly demonstrate a uh, restore mode. So how to get into restore mode and how to get out of restore mode. Uh, restore mode and DFU mode are two different diff different types of um, uh, modes, I should say, because uh, DF with DFU mode you won't see anything on the screen. It, the screen stays lit but it's, it's all blank. With, uh, with the restore mode you, you see more or less like a, a, an iTunes cable. Uh, just the iTunes cable, uh, you don't see any um, slide to unlock or anything like that. So uh, in this video I'm quickly going to s show you how to get into restore mode and uh, how to get out, out of restore mode. Uh, DFU mode video will follow this video. So uh, here you go. For, the, for this test environment, I'm, I'm going to use uh, an iPhone 2G uh, with, the firm, uh, with the firmware 3.0. So this has iPhone 3.0 firmware installed, and as you see, there's T-Mobile in it. I, I tried unlocking it. I didn't activate it yet. So, so here's the phone. So to get into a restore mode, what, what do you have to do? All you have to do is push the power button. This is the same for a 3G phone, a first generation phone like this, or a 3GS phone. So so first you have to turn your phone off. So push the power button and until you see slide to power off. And there you go. So now we turn your phone off. So let's wait till it's uh to till it turns off and then we are gonna put it in get it into restore mode. So let's see, give a few seconds. With iPhone 3GS this is a lot faster because of the uh, adding, added memory and uh, faster processor. Okay so the phone is turned off now uh, to put the iPhone into restore mode push the home button. This is the home button, this is the power button. So this is the home button. So push the home button. There you go. So I'm, I'm while while you hold the home button, here's the USB cable, and I have a MacBook Pro, and I, I push the home button. I have the uh, USB cable, and I'm connecting the USB cable. So keep holding the home button and wait for it to enter the restore mode. So there you go. So that's the restore mode and I see a message saying iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. Perfect. So at this point, generally uh, we use this restore mode to you know, uh, change the firmware, you know, a fresh restore. Uh, wherein uh, you don't have to worry about all the hacks that you have performed with the firmware. So uh, generally, you click the option uh, option key on your keyboard and the restore button to browse through the firmware on a Mac or, an, or an, on a Windows machine. You generally hold a shift button and push the uh, restore restore button to browse through the firmware to get the um, uh, designated firm, whatever firmware you want, like a custom firmware or something. So that it, it's all well said and uh, so there you go, that's the restore mode. Uh, now, what if you accidentally got into a restore mode? This can happen uh, in various cases, uh, like if you mistime your DFU mode, like sometimes uh, using Pawnage and Quick Pawn, uh, you, you are asked to hold the power button for so many seconds and push the home button for so many seconds and you know to get into the DFU mode that's that's like a more complicated uh, restore mode uh, which is generally uh, used for pawnage and quick pawn so um, so once you miss time those steps you generally end up getting into a restore mode so this is a restore mode so it, once you get into restore mode some people uh, unfortunately they uh, like like uh, I mean I, I, I get so many uh, calls or uh, comments on my blog saying that uh, I got into restore mode and I have to restore it um, to, a, to a new firmware from scratch just to get out of this restore mode. You don't have to do all, all the time consuming uh, uh, restore process to you know get out of this mode. All you have to do is hold the power button and, and the home button. So hold both the home, power and home buttons for Okay, let's let us first take 
unplug this USB cable. Okay, that's the first step. Next, let's hold the home button. Let's hold the power button. Both the buttons for around 10 to 12 seconds. So there you go. So I'm holding the home bu power button and the home button for around there you go. So now it turns off. So now when the Apple logo comes on, just keep holding the home button. So this is all done in real time. I'm not going to edit it or I'm not gonna do any edition uh, editing uh, in iMovie or anything. Just to you know show the actual time it takes to do the whole process like the home button, um, the key sequences and all that stuff. It can be confusing sometimes. So there you go. So we got back to where we initially started off from. So we we if you restart this video you will see that we got into restore mode which is used for changing firmware and then we got out of restore mode by just uh, holding the home and power buttons and then leaving the power button while still holding the home button so that means that you don't really have to do all the uh, restore process to get out of the restore mode so that, that's a quick I'm so sorry I should have uh, I've taken like around six six and a half minutes to show this whole thing but some people are really confused and if, if you're not technically advanced I mean it's not not everyone works on this on a day-to-day -day basis like I, I blog a lot so I generally work on these things a lot so uh, so hope it really helped you and the next time you're in a restore mode just just do the just to perform the sequence that I just showed and you should be good to go. So in this case, because I started off with, uh, th this is not activated yet, I, I can use um, this uh, quick pawn or something to activate this thing. So there you go. So we went from a fully working phone to a restore mode and we came back from a restore mode to back to where we started from. So there you go. That's it. Uh, this is Kieran signing off from ilikemyphone.com and you have a wonderful day.